current dudes. So, fishing in another backcountry river today. Some dudes just downstream of me have just, well, they actually got here. I was parked and then they turned up with spinning rods and they kind of jumped around on the beach down here. So, there's probably no fish in this pool, but I will be attempting to catch one anyway. I mean, I really screwed up the timing on this. See how, um, the beaches and sun and the waters and shadow, that's like the worst thing ever. I should have waited another couple of hours to come in here. If you're in sunlight and the water's in shade, it becomes very difficult to actually see into. You get a high contrast thing going on and it just becomes really difficult. Why? Why did I come in here so early? Oh, it almost died. Screw it, I'm just going to the next spot. Maybe I'll get it on the way out. Dry fly, dry fly. Oh, this is the best day ever. I love it. He came from a mile away. He came from a mile away. Come here. so sick that fish came hopefully it showed up good on here I know I didn't explain it before I did it but I get really nervous coming in here because you only get a shot maybe two per day and uh, I didn't see any fish in the first two pools I was getting really sort of worried about it there was another one there was a bigger one but I chose the, the fish that was in the better position to get a cast at and it's only like three or four pound trout that just it never gets old to me I just I love it so much it just never gets old I've come for a little bit of revenge. Hopefully this comes off. About, probably going back about 20 videos or so to the end of last season, there's a video where I crashed my drone. I'm in that very pool where I crashed my drone. I was looking for it for hours up in these trees here. That's where I thought it went. But I actually found a cache file on my phone a few months later and it showed the crash. I hit this tree above me and then I thought I needed to go right to get away from it. So I just held right and I thought I could hear it crashing and smacking all these trees up here but it actually went straight across the river and uh, my drone is still up in those bushes somewhere uh, so that's why I couldn't find it that day but anyway um, I can see one fish in this pool it's ho I don't think anyone has fished this river this year yet I can't see any footprints anywhere but I'm not seeing a lot of fish I've only seen two fish there's one over the back here there's normally one right in front which is what I was trying to catch on the drone last year but I'm going to throw the drone up again, I'm not going to hit that tree and uh, I'm going to see if I can catch that fish over the back there. Alright, there's the drone up there, it's actually almost touching the tree. couldn't see that fish while I was fishing but I knew it had to be lurking around there somewhere I put a big slow drift through and eventually the fish found the fly but I felt the fish it was on for probably 1.87 seconds and then off it came dang all right so I only managed the one fish out of this river but I am 
I've actually only got a couple of hours today to fish this sort of backcountry stuff and then I've got to get back into reception because I've got some things to go take care of. But I'm going to go swing some flies or nymph, tongaretto. I've got an idea where there might be a brown trout in the tongaretto as well. So I might go and see if I can find him. And yeah, just have a good old time in the tongaretto this afternoon. So still more to come, stay tuned. All right, I'm at the top, top of the tongaretto. I haven't been up here in ages. I've been fishing down lower in the river or, you know, Hanimaya or wherever else. I haven't come up here for a long time, but there used to be a brown trout that lived up here. So I'm going to go see if I can find him and kind of just investigate the area see how many fish are floating around and things like that because i'm gonna have to start fishing up this end because well that's where the fish are gonna be so yeah tongaretto see if we can find a brown trout maybe nymph up some rainbows and then i'm gonna swing this lower part of the river which i've done many many times before but i haven't done it and probably feels like about a year it's gonna be good <coughs> oh look my uh, camera sitting on the rock How's it going, buddy? Any luck? Your YouTube, Alan. Oh, Alan. Yeah, Mike, yeah. Gareth. Gareth, sorry. Yeah, nice to meet you. I'm trying to figure out how to fish this place. Oh, you're not from around here? Picked up, no, no, Petty Caddy. Oh, okay. Down for the weekend, have a bit of a, have a, bit of a play. What am I doing here? Uh, I don't know, yeah, you just. Chuck nymphs out there and hope for the best, I suppose. Oh, I have one. Just over there. Yeah, that's a really good. If you really, down there. yeah, if you really thrash that, you will find fish. Yeah. They can be a little bit hit and miss, but sometimes they're uh, they're all over the place there. Mm. Oh, there's a couple in here I can see. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just floating around. There's about four. I'll see if I can pull one out. Can't see any at the moment. There he goes, one of them. That wasn't the one I was looking at. Woo! Ooh, there's still a couple down there, they're not even bothered. It's quite strong, this guy. Cheers for the net. Alan here, he netted the fish for me, and I lost the fish, it was actually quite a good fish, probably one of the better ones I've caught from the Tongariro in a little while, but there's another few in there, I reckon if you leave that 10 minutes, they'll, they'll be back on the tube, but yeah, I'm going to go up here and see if I can find that brown trout again. I think this fish is effectively onto me. Dang! Thought I had him for a second. How's it going? Seen on YouTube a lot, mate. Love oh, it, cheers, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Gareth's the name. Yeah. No, go for it. So, can you see the dark shape right there? The rock, the rock that's just about out of the water there. Yeah. To the right of that, there's a big dark smudge. Oh, okay, yeah. There's kind of a channel, a deeper little channel there. Yeah, yeah. Throw it in there, and if you're far away, I'll tell you to remove it. <laughs> just, yes, yeah, that's close enough. That's where you want it. About six inches left of that, probably, actually, is the optimal position. Yeah, lucky last. I mean, you could stay here, like, eventually you'd... Well, I reckon he's probably now just gonna get fell hooked, so I'll probably leave him alone. Oh, oh, there he is. I knew it. You keep going, they eat new buddy Cameron that was just he watches the videos he come and said hello and we found a brown trout to have a go at and we have hooked him
so I've just stopped halfway back to Topol. Topol is at that end of the lake. I've been down there in Turangi and then up over there earlier this morning. Uh, I forgot to end the video, so that's why I'm stopping here now. Uh, caught that really nice rainbow in the back country this morning on a dry fly. That was sick. That was well worth making that drive over there to see if I can make that happen. And then super stoked to get that brown trout. That's the first Tongariro brown since last summer, I think. They, they're still not really in the system yet. They won't really be there a lot until uh, about December sometime, but super stoked to get that one. I did swing down through that run. Not sure if I'll put any of those clips in here because I didn't catch anything. But yeah, look at this place. It's friggin' mahusive. This is, like I said before, like T Taupo, the town of Taupo is at that end. 40 something odd k's to the other end, which is actually around that corner. You can't even see it. 43 k's or something from end to end. It's a huge lake. I think it might be the largest constantly filled lake in the southern hemisphere. Don't quote me on that, but potentially. Uh, and then we've got these cool things, which are floating rocks. There's this, well, those are huge volcanoes up there. One of them was in Lord of the Rings. You can't really see it at the moment. There's a cloud behind it. Big volcano, lots of pumice. It's really cool and interesting, interesting place. You have to take my word for it, it's definitely floating. All right, thank you guys all so much for watching. If you watched it this far, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch all of you in that next video. Peace.